right, hey everyone, and welcome to Dongan Rompa Dead End. All right, so this is actually a fan made game, I believe it's still in production. But uh, I am actually a fan of the Dongan Rompa series. I wouldn't say I'm like a super fan, but uh, you know, I've definitely you know played the games and I've seen anime, you know, like all of it. So, pretty cool when I saw this. Uh, on itch itch.io itch however you pronounce it when i saw it i was like yo i definitely gotta play this so we're gonna jump right into this new game definitely so it looks like yeah it looks like we're just jumping into a class trial which is actually pretty cool but at the same time we did no investigating so what's going on with the handbook Evidence themes. Can I use ASD? Oh, yes, I can. All right, cool. And I can't use the mouse, so it looks like we're using the arrow keys and enter. Backlog settings. Return to main menu. All right, what's going on with the evidence? Nate's account. Nate had a weird run in with Monasoft recently. Apparently, he tried hitting on Nate for some reason. Nate was able to shake him off, but it scared him pretty bad. Now he tries to be with me whenever he can, so Monasoft doesn't try anything. Apparently Ryu has been alone with Monosog on multiple occasions despite being told that it's dangerous. However, Monosog always disappears as quickly as possible. Ryu said this ticked him off because he seems very friendly with the other male students. Okay. I'm trying to look at the picture there. A picture of Monosog that Nate found stuffed in a plant. It shows Monosog on some kind of bed wearing a silk robe. Okay, you could say he's trying to look sexy, but he's a plush robot, so it just looks stupid and weird. I wonder who put who put it in that plant. All right, let's go. Let's see what we got. Class trial in session. Let's go. Oh, are they gonna talk or no? You, we talk. Huh? Now then, let's begin with a simple explanation of the class trial. During the class trial, you will present your arguments for who the killer is and vote for who done it. If you vote correctly, only the black will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the black and that person will earn the right to leave this academy. Now, let's begin. But no one's dead. What are we supposed to discuss? Yeah, I mean, like, we just got here. Or, I mean, we, like, just got here. All right. Oh, how silly of me. I forgot that this trial is for the special pre-trial trial version. Pre-trial trial version? Well, the lovely creators of this here game want to show off what they can do. So before any official content comes out, we're having a completely non-canon class trial. So that means we won't die if we get it wrong. Oh no, I'll, I'll still kill you. <laughs> What? But what will happen to the full game if we die? Well, in that case, we just won't have a full game. Boo-hoo. Oh, well. Hey, there was a lot of work put into this. You can't just chuck it out because we screw up. In that case, you better get it right. What will we be discussing? With our limited time to survey our new surroundings, it will be difficult to come to a decisive conclusion on any topic. I, I just realized I wasn't even, like, reading their names. I was just kind of reading the dialogue. So this is Ryu, not to mention some of us look like we've never used our brains before. Booker. Hey, I'm smarter than I look. Oh really? What's... Mm. 5,253,612 divided by 476. Look, even I can't answer that off the top of my head. Bust out the iPhone calculator, please. Uh, how's anybody supposed to know that? Like. It's not that anyone doesn't know it, it's that you don't know it off the top of your head. Like, that's it's such a random equation. And it's kind of a big equation, too. Yeah, I doubt you even know the answer. Oh, 11,037. Okay, so you good at math. Not everybody is that good at math. Well, the joke's on you. I'm too dumb to know if that's right. <laughs> Case in point. Eh, no, wait. You really shouldn't pick on girls, little bro. You'll never be into, oh, they'll never be into you if you keep upsetting them like that. So this is Ray. Charm is a great way to bring your point across in the debate too. Isn't that right, baby? Jane, hee <laughs> hee, you're hot. I mean, if we could all stop, just stop bickering, 
we could ask about the discussion topic. You know what I really like about this so far is that it definitely has that Danganronpa feel to it already. Because even though they're supposed to be discussing something serious, they tend to get off track. And this is definitely what's going on right now. So besides, I don't see why we should write the situation off as impossible if we don't know everything yet. She does have a point. This is Wallace. I missed the last girl's name, my bad. We should look at the whole picture before we decide. We got Oscar. In that case, if Mr. Monosoft would be so inclined to tell us what we will be talking about. Oh, you want to know so badly? Well, I guess there's no point keeping you in suspense. The topic of discussion will be... My sexual orientation. Kind of figured that out. Ah, yes, a refined topic for the most voice of gentlemen. Uh, heck no. What on earth about a topic like that is refined? Why would I want to know what a crazy robot gets off to? Well, it's not like we have a choice. No matter how undignified the topic, our lives are on the line. Well, if I had to choose, discussing this is a lot easier than a corpse. This is Ava. We got Fry. Chi Chi. Fry agrees with Creepy Shovel Girl. That's Tio. Tail? Uh oh. Those are her words, not mine. Ava. It's fine. I've been called worse. Worse than Creepy Shovel Girl? Penelope. Goodness, this group gets sidetracked easily. Elizabeth. But where do we begin? Cherry. Cherry reminds me of uh, Old Girl from Nangaropa. V3. I guess we should just jump into it. Starting with probably or starting will probably help us find more clues. I agree with Cherry. Discussing something actually brings up a lot of things you overlook. So this is Jane again. In a detective novel, it's pretty common that a mundane a mundane discussion helps lead the detective to the last piece of evidence. In that case, where should we start, Jane? How about everyone talks over their interactions with Monosop? That might reveal something. If you think it will help, I suppose it's a good place to start. Ellis. But most conversations with that robot are the result of simple questions. I don't see the point of reviewing these explanations. You got a better idea, Bedhead? I do not. Alright, the first debate is about to start. I doubt Monosalt will give us an impossible question, so the answer is here somewhere. We just gotta keep calm and think this through. Hello there, looks like it's time for your first non-stop debate, so it's time to review the controls. Gamepad controls are the same as mainline DR, so since you're using keyboard and mouse, my guess is that you don't really care. Keyboard and mouse controls are a bit different though, so listen up. So right click uh, shoots the truth bullet, left click is for the silencer. So to change truth bullets, either use the mouse wheel or hold tab. So right click was for silencer, left click was for truth bullets. Yeah, okay. So if you want to focus, uh, space, speed up with shift, escape to open the truth bullet menu. So I'm sure you don't need a primer on how to play the game, right? Shoot down white noise, refute or agree with the right statement with the correct truth bullet and aim for the V spot if you're feeling frisky. Ha ha ha, have fun. Okay, it didn't really laugh, but... All right. Reuse account, Nate's account. Ah, oh, crap. All right, nope, we need this. So Ryu's account was that he was alone with Monosok, but he disappeared quickly and it pissed him off. And Nate's account was that he had to run in with Monosok, but it, he was trying to hit on him. All right. So I think we're gonna need Nate's account. We should start with any uh, intimate actions we've had with Monosok, okay? Oh ho! Intimate, you say? Okay. I'm really curious about what you think is intimate, Ms. Moss. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Actually, let's just start with one on one interactions instead. Oh no, I didn't mean to shoot. My bad. Oh, okay, I see. Alright. There would be alone with him. I think that goes for most of us. Whoops. So I was alone with him for a bit. But he didn't seem that interested. So figures you were alone together. 
Okay. Maybe we're just overthinking this. I mean, he's a robot. Maybe he's just he just isn't attracted to anyone. Sorry, what was it? All right. So, here's what happened. We're going to stop right here. Uh I had a mishap where I couldn't figure out why autoplay turned on. Turns out it was the space bar. <laughs> But I didn't know that the first time, so I was like pressing keys, trying to figure out what button I pressed to do that. And apparently I had pressed the button that caused me to restart the game and have to do everything all over. So now I know it is the space bar. Do not touch the space bar. So for the time being, I would like to go to the backlog and talk about the stuff that's happened starting at the end of the... Uh, at the end of the non-stop debate, right? So hold on, Booker. He may be a robot, but we have evidence that he can be attracted to people. No way. How could a robot have a sex drive? The reason we have a sex drive in the first place is to make babies. Robots don't make babies. Of course, some people shouldn't mate either. It would be nice if they left the gene pool. You really are a despicable critic. Perhaps people would like you if you weren't always looking down on them. Pretty hard to look up at you, at you Shorty. Perhaps if you get off your giant ego, it would be easier. As much as I love listening to a 10-year-old get roasted, could we get to the explanation? Alright, so that was the end of that. Nate was unfortunate enough to get hit on by Monosaur. What? Really? I was doing my best to forget. I don't want to remember it. Any of it. Yeah, he spent the rest of the day crying to me about it. I didn't cry about it. No, but I still had to pat your back saying, there, there. I told you not to talk about our back row times in public. They're special to me and you know that. Jeez, man, okay, sorry. I honestly thought that was a joke. So that thing was really hitting on you? On a scale of one to 10, how aroused would you say his flattery made you? Maybe I can ask him for pointers. Dude, just ask me for flirting tips. A one, definitely a one. He just made vague innuendos and tried wrapping his weird arms around my leg. I had to shake him off at one point. That sounds less like hitting on you and more like sexual assault. Sexual harassment is in violation of the school security policy. I'll have to ask you to leave. Honey, please, I run this school now, so I obviously rewrote that. Now I can wrap my arms around anyone I like. Note to self, long two arms are good at wrapping around legs. Dude, please just talk to me. Please, we're all begging you, just talk to him. That means he doesn't have a sex drive, or he does have a sex drive. So I guess I was wrong, huh? But I still find this illogical. What is the point of coding a robot with the desire for intercourse? Cause sex is super hot, that's why. It's actually why I became a teacher at this university, so that one day those sexy teacher ex student desires could finally be fulfilled. That is no bueno. Another violation of security policy. Student-teacher relationships are strictly forbidden. Rewrote it. Damn it, he's good. <laughs> the fact that you went through all that trouble is even more proof. Good point. If you really didn't have any desires, why rewrite all that stuff? It sure isn't for our benefit. I think the more important question is, why is the security policy still in effect during a killing game? School security is very important, you know. How else am I supposed to keep all those pesky outsiders away? That's not thats not at all what I meant. If mom was here, she would have given you a timeout for sure. What good would that do? I don't know, Tanya. Maybe something better than the security policy you love so much? Alright, we figured it out. He's into dudes. Can we stop talking about it now? Or talking about this now? It's just getting creepier by the second. No, we should keep talking. There are other possibilities to this case. That's right, we haven't discussed anything besides what happened to Nate. We keep getting sidetracked. Ugh, but this discussion is stupid and boring and I hate it. Can't we just move on? Well, I guess we did discuss it, not to mention nothing else was brought up. Maybe we should stop discussing it. Like I said, we need to think this through if we want to get to the or if we want to get the answer correct. Actually, he does have a point. We'll die if we get it wrong. Okay, Elizabeth. 
chill, okay? You don't have to agree with everyone. Lizzie, shouldn't you be thinking for yourself? Sorry, but both arguments are both so compelling. You're the only one making any points, though. All right, just breathe and take a moment to think to yourself. That way you know what you want to do. Okay. Personally, I also uh, want to discuss it more. This is a life or death uh, decision. We don't want to rush into it. I'll just go along with what you think, Athena. Oh, Lizzie. I agree with Athena and Nate. Flirting is a complex art that has a lot of layers to it. You can't figure someone out through one conversation. Especially if it was a one, as one-sided as Nate says. Come on, Nady Poo. You can't say you weren't into it at all. Yes, I can. I most certainly can. Not even a little. Not for a second. Come on, whatever. Let's just make it quick so we can get this over with. So, Miss Detective, what should we discuss now? Actually, I'm not a detective, but we should keep discussing everyone's interactions with him. Since we really only heard about Nate and Reeves, that's our best bet for now. Actually, I just want to talk about my interaction for a while. No one else's. What the? Are you trying to torture us? You already said nothing happened when you talked to him. Exactly. That's why we should discuss it more. You really do have a few screws loose, don't you? I would argue that it's more than just a few. Well, whatever. I won't allow the discussion to move forward unless we talk about what I want. Do you really want to make me cry? Actually, that would be very entertaining to see. Okay, Wallace, chill. Shut up, you blind excuse for a smear artist. Ugh. It seems like we don't have a choice but to go along with whatever Ryu has planned. I hope he's being smart about this, otherwise we're going to be dead for sure. We know it. Oh, okay, another panic time. Or non-stop, my bad. Forgot panic time is like final boss. The weird picture in Ryu's account. Okay, I think I remember it. I think this is gonna be the weird picture. We're gonna talk about me. But why though? You already said nothing happened when you were alone. Yeah, he said he left quickly. That doesn't contradict what we already know. How can nothing be a contradiction? Now that I think about it, it's suspicious that nothing happened between you two, or happened between you. Maybe something, oh, nope, it wasn't a weird picture. Oh, no. Yeah, that's gotta be it. Maybe you weren't so bad after all. And maybe you aren't a waste of perfectly good atoms mashed into a human shape, but both are unlikely. Actually, never mind. You are so bad after all, my mistake. But if that's the case, what other reason could there be? Okay, the weird picture was... Okay, what did Ryu say? I'm sorry. Apparently Ryu has been alone with Monosaka on multiple occasions. Despite being told that it's dangerous, Monosaka always disappears as quickly as possible. Ryu said this ticked him off because he seems very friendly with other male students. Wait, so that means he's been around others. But why though? Okay. Alright, so you already said nothing happened when you two were alone. Wait, is this it? Nope, that was not it. He said it himself that... Okay, alright. I'm just shooting at random stuff at this point. Alright, let's actually look at it this time. Okay. So he said nothing happened when you were alone. That doesn't contradict why what you are what we already know. There we go. All right. I was still shooting at random stuff. <laughs> I knew it was something in there. <laughs> so nothing happened between you. Ah, that's it. What's it? The fact that nothing happened is strange in and of itself. Because we already established that he's in the guise. Oh, you're right. How did we miss that? I've been asking myself that question for the last five minutes or so. 
We probably ignored it because of his age. You mean since he's a twerp, we didn't listen to him? No, well, yes, but not my point. There's a big age gap between Ryu and Nate, so we didn't think about it, especially since he's a minor. I didn't know Ryu was the ultimate minor. She means someone who's under 18. Now I'm starting to side with Ryu on how stupid you are. But what does that mean? Does he just have a thing for tall guys? Actually, I think Ava already gave us the answer. The reason he didn't try anything with Ryu is because he's a minor. Jeez, finally took you long enough to figure it out. If it was that annoying, why didn't you just tell us, little bro? People don't like listening to me just because of my age, so I find creative ways around it. Come on, bro. We would have just we would have listened. No, we would not have. No, we wouldn't have. This boy has been spitting. He he been roasting people left and right in this trial so far. No, we would not have listened. No, we wouldn't have. Or at least I wouldn't. <laughs> See exactly. Gee gee. <laughs> yeah, I probably wouldn't have listened. I wouldn't have either. Same. I I literally just said this. I was like, look, this man been. Now. <laughs> Likewise. He shows up in my nightmares. Okay, maybe that was the was the best, or maybe that was the best approach. Please be nice to him. Harassment like this can have a very negative impact on a child's personality. Thanks for the support, mommy. I'm still not your mom, but you're welcome. So we narrowed down our answers to guys who are at least 18 years of age. Of course, I only go after or after of age men. What do you take me for, a monster? I may be an expert at sexual assault, but I still have standards. So you admit it to it being sexual assault. What? I said flirting. What you talking about, silly? <laughs> Don't play dumb. You just said sexual assault. Nope. Totally just harmless flirting. You're impossible. Is that it? Can we go now? Well, if that's your answer, just formally present it to me. But before we do that, can we discuss this a bit more? Why? Well, see, it's pretty set in stone for me. Although I feel like we might be missing something. Oh, come on, I just want to leave this place. It doesn't give anyone else the creeps. Well, with a fresh coat of paint, I'm sure we could liven this place up. Hey, no vandalizing my beautiful interior design. It's so plain. It's not vandalism, it's just brightening the place up. And I'm sure it would feel better once I get rid of all the ghosts. So he's like a ghost hunter. And no removing my ghosts either. It was very expensive to buy them on one day delivery. <laughs> That was good. Why is Cherry so freaked out? None of the others have come out and said anything about being hit on. Although she was the one who brought up the idea of one-on-ones with Monosan. Don't tell me she had some conflict with him. Well, why isn't she saying anything? It's because of this creep, isn't it? Of course it is. So she wants to say something happened to her, but that clown is getting in the way. In that case, Monosan isn't just into guys. He's also into... You know what this means? It's time for Hangman's Gambit. But unlike Hangman's Gambit you're used to, this one is actually somewhat fun. The rules are simple. Shoot an enemy carrying the correct letter, and you'll advance to the next letter. But if you shoot an enemy carrying the wrong letter, you'll be attacked. If an enemy carries no letters at all, feel free to destroy it whenever you like. And one more thing. If you're stuck on a letter because it just won't appear for God's sake, a boss enemy will eventually appear. It might be a difficult battle, but the boss will always carry the correct letter, so you can advance forward. And don't forget, if things get too hectic, you can always use focus to slow down time. Have fun! Alright. Oh, that's awesome. This oh, okay, I see y'all, see y'all. With the Galica plays, alright. Uh Is it S? Nope. Alright. I I don't What word am I looking for? Nope, it's not L. Uh, I keep dying. Is it? No, stop. R. Okay, it's girls. Oh, I need an L. I need steps. How many lives I got? Okay, I can destroy them things, right? Okay, I'm missing anyway, so it don't even matter. Yes! Shut up! 
<laughs> that was actually pretty fun. I like that. I like that concept a lot because I'm not going to lie. The hangman, Hangman's Gambit in the regular games, it, it can get frustrating at the while towards like the final trials. But yeah, that was actually pretty fun. So he's in the girls as well, but how do I present this to the group without getting Cherry involved? I have one idea. For it to work, however, I need to trust Cherry to back me up. Well, here goes nothing. Uh, guys, I have something to tell you. So, Jane? I think Monosaka's in the girls, too. He was hitting on me as well. Huh? What? You never told me about this. That's because I had to console you. It, it would have been weird to bring it up then. Well, I wouldn't have hogged all the backpacks. If I knew you were in the same position. Once we get out of here, you can have all the backpacks you want. Thanks, but no thanks. Chi Chi, I agree. It's weird that you didn't bring it up sooner. Why did you wait so long? Because we were working something else out at the time, so I thought I should wait. If you don't believe me, Cherry saw it happen. You can back me up, right, Cherry? Oh, yes, I can. It completely slipped my mind. Oh, thank God she actually... She's actually not that bad at lying. So, Jane, you got hit on by Monosoft, too. How would you rate your experience on a skip? Ask me that and your sketchbook is getting shoved so far up your booty hole. You'll be pooping art for weeks. Is that a promise? Oh my lord. I take it back. Hmm, I don't remember hitting on you. Oh well. When you're as big a player as me, it makes sense you forget some people you flirt with. Ouch. Burn, girl. So our answer now is anybody who is over 18 years old. Did we finally figure it out? I don't know what else it could be. He seems to have worked through the evidence we have. All right, looks like we figured this out pretty good. Didn't realize he swung both ways. Mm, what is it, Nate? Well, there's something that's bugging me. Did I miss something? It didn't seem possible. But Nate does have good instincts, even if he has a hard time figuring stuff out. Guys, can we have one more discussion? I think we might have missed something. Okay, now you're just dragging it out. <laughs> Molly, please, Nate and Jane have been a big help in figuring this out. For sure. You never would have gotten the 18 plus without her, so we should discuss what she wants. What's the harm? What could we even do when we leave the trial? We're still stuck here, you know. Alright, I get it. Sheesh, so what's so suspicious? I can't really remember, but if we start up a discussion, it could jog our memory. Very well, do you have a discussion topic in mind? Just discuss the, uh, the answer we have so far. That should bring up something. In that case, we should get started. Even if Molly's nagging is quite irritable, I do wish to leave as well. Hey, if you're going to agree with me, don't insult me. All right, we've got one more discussion to go through. If we miss anything, we're doomed. So let's make sure that doesn't happen. So, so far we used the bullets of both guys. So it's got to be whatever's left. The weird picture. So, what do we discuss? I have two hearts? Oh my god. We've been instructed to talk about our current answer. But honestly, I don't find anything wrong with it. I believe the answer itself is correct. The real question is, if something was missed... Well, we talked about all the evidence... Oh no! Shoot it again! <laughs> oh, I got it! Hey, remember the weird photo you found stuffed in the plant? What about it? Let me see... Let me see it so we can show everyone. It almost looks like a pinup. Well, maybe a pinup. It doesn't really look good when you just have feet and no legs. That's funny. The lack of butt is also very disappointing. I have to remedy this later. No, that's a good thing. That is definitely a good thing. Well, what's up with that picture? If he gave it to one of us, wouldn't we have brought it up by now? Jane, would you mind if I saw that for a moment? Uh, sure, go for it. Hmm, I see. What is it? Take a look at the back. Hey, pretty baby, your foliage looks great this time of year. Or hey, baby. Oh, okay, it's different, okay. If you want, you can help me spread my seed. Ooh. 
Well, time to bleach that from my memories. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Do you have any sense of decency? What is this decency you speak of? Ugh, oh, whatever. I need to stop talking to you. So he gave the picture to the plant. He's it to foliage? It seems so. Actually, that's not the only one I found. Oh, come on. They were basically everywhere. I ran around and picked them up because I thought it was litter. You didn't think to read them? I've already had enough of him for a lifetime. I didn't even bother. You know, dude, totally get you now. Well, were, all, were they all in trees or plants? No, they were in just about everything I could find. I guess that means he doesn't have standards. I think it's worse than that. Whatever he can stick it in, he finds attractive. <laughs> Alterna uh, alternatively, anything that can stick it in him. That's kind of a gross way to put it, but I guess it's true. So that's it. We're done. I think so. Monosuck, we have our answer. Oh, then do tell. You're attracted to anything that is at least 18 years of age, including inanimate objects. Hmm. Why, that's completely correct. What clever sleuths you are. Thank goodness we won't die. Now, everyone, come closer and let your teacher reward you. Ooh. Okay, I don't care if it's not a violation, I'm still gonna beat the tar out of you. Screw that, I'm leaving. We aren't in danger, so let's jet. Agreed, we should simply put as much distance between him and us as possible. If you have no objections, robot, please reactivate the elevator. Give me a sec, will ya? I gotta talk to the player for a sec. Thanks for playing our weird little test. <laughs> Hope you join us for the real deal, because next time, not everyone will have the pleasure of being here. Yay! That was actually really fun. I actually really like that. In fact, that actually has me wanting to go back and play the actual Danganronpa games again. Like, I actually have them. So yeah, that, wow, that was actually really good. I really love it. The art style is like really good. Like, I wouldn't say exactly spot on, but like it is very, very, very close. Like, it's like a thin line. You guys did, developers, you're doing a really good job. So I actually do want to look further into this and see how far you guys are coming along. I see that um, the developer does have a, they have a YouTube, Twitter, and Discord. So I really do hope that you guys are still working on this. It looks like your most recent video was from about six months from the time of this recording. But yeah, like I said, I really do hope that, you know, behind the scenes, you guys are still working on this. This is really cool. For anyone who saw this and was interested, I'm gonna leave the link to their uh, page down in the bio on the page of course uh you can get more information about it and of course you know make sure you follow them on youtube twitter join their discord server if you want to keep up with this all right so it says yeah it's still in development right now so really awesome really great job guys i really enjoyed that demo and i'm actually looking forward to seeing more so yeah definitely Keep up the good work. All right, so thanks, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Code LMD, logging out.